Welcome mindful parents. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing two examples from the life of the Prophet, peace be upon him, regarding communication and connection with your spouse. The first example is when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was running home scared after seeing Jibreel alayhi salam for the first time. The first place that the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam thought of was his house, was to his wife Khadija radiallahu anha, which means that Khadija radiallahu anha made sure that the home environment was a safe place, was a place that was welcoming. And when she saw the Prophet in that status, she was trying to do her best to calm him down, to soothe him, to listen to him. And this is what we need to be for our husbands. We need to be there welcoming them, welcoming their problems, and when they are stressed, because with us in our house is where they're going to feel that comfort and safety. We wouldn't want our husbands to go anywhere else but his own place. Another beautiful story is that in one of the journeys that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was going for Hajj, one of his wife, Safiya, was on uh, um, the fastest camel. And all of a sudden, the camel just stopped moving. Safiya was very devastated. She started crying. And the response of the Prophet was to stop everybody and went to her asking her what's going on and he listened to her complaining about how her camel was the fastest and is the fastest and just stopped and is not moving anymore the way that the prophet responded was by wiping her tears away by touching her by trying to soothe her by listening to her as i said before that physical touch no matter how simple or small it is does charge the other person, does make them feel that they have that person to fall back on, that there's somebody that really cares about he them. He didn't say, oh, come on, don't make a big deal out of it. It's nothing. He stopped and listened. He connected with his wife. And this is what you guys need to do. Husbands, you need to connect with your wife in her worst moments too. We don't only love each other when we are in a good mood and we are happy. It is when we are having a hard time that we need to connect the most. That's when we actually show our love to each other and how strong our relationship is. So let's remember to embrace that love and connection that our Prophet has taught us and apply it in our everyday life. 